welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Mindy and this is See Mindy Mom. And today I'm going to share with you a few of my favorite holiday seasonal items from Aldi. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, shout out to my friend Brianna over at Diva and the Divine because I was inspired to make this video when I watched one of hers. She recently did a video where she mentioned her five favorite holiday items in general. And right after I watched that video, I was shopping at Aldi and I was looking around at all of the stuff that was there for the holidays and some of the things that I was picking up for my own cart. And I thought, you know, it might be fun to do a video like that and just feature some of the Aldi items. So I got some pictures and some B-roll as well as picking up a few of my favorite items. And hopefully I'm gonna be able to show you some of the cool stuff that you can pick up at Aldi right now. I know that I'm wearing a jacket and a hat in my own kitchen and that's because it is cold. <laughs> we have taken a turn for cold weather here in Tulsa, America and it is very cold in my kitchen so please cut me some slack. I'm also trying to batch film today so I'm filming several videos at once and look I got all dressed up for you guys in my leather jacket and my cute hat so here we go. First up, let's talk about chocolate. Aldi has a ton of chocolate to choose from this time of year. Everything ranging from just kind of your standard, like generic holiday chocolates shaped like Santa's to some of the kind of like higher end truffles and European style chocolates. I have picked these up the last couple of years and I really just like them. I think they're fun. It's a small treat and I like to put these in a little cup by my coffee maker. They're just little Santa chocolates that are on little lollipop sticks. So just a little bit of a chocolate treat it's just a very mild chocolate. It's a milk chocolate. My kids really like these. Like I said, these go really well with a good cup of coffee and they're just kind of festive to put out with a coffee maker. I also picked these up. It is a Belgian chocolate wave and they had several different flavors of these. I got the salted caramel, but I think they had a dark chocolate and a mint chocolate one as well. Chocolate waves are curve shaped chocolates from Belgium filled with rice puffs for a crispy delight created with luscious Belgian chocolate of the highest quality. I mean, this basically looks like a chocolate Pringle. So what's not to like. I also picked up some of these. Now I gotta be honest, I am an Oreo brand snob. I try not to be brand loyal to too many things because I think it's a cost saving measure to actually buy the house brand, but Oreos are one of those things that have such a singular taste and texture that I don't really care for the off brand. However, I love peppermint. I love peppermint flavored things. I like the peppermint flavor stuff that comes around this time of year way more than the pumpkin flavor stuff. So I just thought that these looked really interesting. They are a candy cane chocolate sandwich cream cookie. So I assume it's like a peppermint. Oreo. I think they sell something like this at Trader Joe's, but I gotta be honest with you guys, I think it's been about eight months since I've been to Trader Joe's. We only have one in the Tulsa area and it's a long wait to get in because of the pandemic. So that's not a place that I have been going to shop, but I thought I would try these out. And I gotta tell you, they had a fudge covered version of this cookie too that I thought looked really good, but I just went with the standard peppermint chocolate sandwich cookie. <laughs> I was about to say Oreo, but they're not really Oreos. They're like Shmorios. And these cookies are super popular in our household every year. I know that seems odd because it's just like a really plain, thin, small, crispy shortbread cookie, but they are so good. And every time I buy these, especially whenever family members have come in the past, they are gone almost as soon as the package is opened. It's only got a handful of ingredients. Um, they're really crispy and these are also really great with a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and we just like these. I usually pick up a package or two of these almost every time I go to Aldi during this time of year. They also have lots of sort of cookies, cakes, pastries, those kinds of things to choose from, especially things in gingerbread or things that have sort of a European flair. But I just stick with the little shortbread cookies because those are my favorite. And a couple of non-food items I thought I'd share with you, although I guess one of these is a food item, it's just not typically eaten. I have this gingerbread Bread house kit that I picked up for the kids and I to do together. Now I know that I can make the gingerbread from scratch. Actually, I can't make the gingerbread right now because my oven is still broken. Wah, wah, wah. It's kind of a pain to have a broken oven at Christmas time. <laughs> I need to get that fixed. But these were really inexpensive and everything we need is in this kit. The little house pieces are already baked. We just have to use the frosting to put them together. They come with a little stand that it sits on and instructions on the back for how to assemble that. And then it comes with all of the little candies and stuff. And again, this isn't something that we eat. It's just a really fun project. And given the fact that we're going to be spending a lot more time at home this Christmas and not going out and doing as many things, not going to as many parties or activities, I thought this would be really fun for the kids and I to do together. You guys, you've gotta quit. Thank you. Kids. Speaking of my children, <laughs> it's fun having a YouTube channel in a pandemic when your kids are home all the time when you would normally film. It's a blessing. They're a blessing. I love them. 
And then these are not edible, but let's face it, it's 2020 and this is certainly an essential key item right now. And that is hand soap. Is there anything more 2020 than hand soap? Maybe toilet paper? <laughs> I don't know. These 10 ounce hand soaps in some winter scents, sugared winter apple and winter cherry cheer were only 99 cents, so not bad at all. You guys, I cannot believe that I almost forgot the coffee. Well, I mean, actually, I guess I did forget the coffee, which is why we are doing this voiceover style with B-roll footage, but that's okay. I did pick up two seasonal coffees, a white chocolate and a gingerbread. And to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of gingerbread like as a cookie or a dessert, but I do like the aroma of it. And I kind of like the cinnamony type flavor that is in there. And so I have been enjoying this, but the one that I like the best is the white chocolate. And even my husband, who is not a huge flavored coffee drinker really thought this one smelled amazing I have liked this one so much that I went back after I filmed this and got two more bags of this because I know that it's a seasonal item so it will be gone quickly and I have not bought coffee creamer in years but I picked up this delightfully pure um, dark chocolate peppermint coffee creamer because I really like peppermint flavor as I've stated during this season and this one it has a really simple ingredient list I haven't bought coffee creamer in a while because I started to correlate drinking coffee creamer with having stomach aches and when I look at the ingredients on a traditional coffee creamer like this one here the friendly farms holiday flavored um, it has some ingredients that I try to avoid but the delightfully pure one the ingredients are really simple as you can see here just really simple ingredients the ingredient list is a little bit shorter some people aren't bothered by traditional coffee creamers and that's okay and you saw that there were some there but I've been buying this delightfully pure just for this holiday season because I like to have a little bit of peppermint flavor in my coffee and it goes really really well with that white chocolate coffees so I've really been enjoying that. Now I didn't pick any of these up this time but I will be probably in my next trip to Aldi in preparation for the Christmas holiday. They have a fantastic selection of cheese and meats and nuts and olives and crackers and the kinds of things that you would typically make a charcuterie board out of. We love to have a snack board like that on holidays and birthdays and special occasions. It's something that I like to put out on Christmas day whenever we're just kind of snacking throughout the day in preparation for a big meal that evening. And for the size of store that Aldi is, I really feel like they have a fantastic selection of those kinds of items at very reasonable prices. So be sure to check them out if you are looking for meat, cheese, crackers, charcuterie board type things. And last but certainly not least, wine, beer, champagne. Now technically this is sparkling wine. I think champagne has to actually come from France to be called champagne, but I'm actually not a huge champagne fan, but I do like to have a mimosa on Christmas morning or have a champagne toast at dinner. And you guys know that I'm kind of partial to my, you know, inexpensive winking out wine. They have a large selection of wines varying in kinds and styles. They have some that's really inexpensive. They have some pricier ones, maybe that are a little bit nicer versions of wine, but I still feel like they have a great selection there. And I usually get a bottle of champagne there um, for Christmas Day, and it's really inexpensive. It's anywhere from $4.99 to $5.99. I think they have maybe an $8.99 bottle. But like I said, for just drinking a little bit of it, it's a really great price. And I'm not really a wine connoisseur. I'm sure there are some people out there who are really great wine enthusiasts that would probably turn their nose up at that. But I think for those of us who are just kind of the casual alcohol drinker, the casual wine drinker, uh, the Aldi wine is fine and that's where I tend to get it whenever we're drinking it. And Aldi also puts out a fantastic wine advent calendar every year. I've showed that to you guys before. Unfortunately, those go very quickly. I usually have to go the day that they put those into the store and get in line before the store even opens so I can get a ticket to actually purchase one. That's how popular those are. They also have beer advent calendars and this year they have a seltzer advent calendar. But if that is something that interests you, you wanna watch the sales fly the first week or two in November and look for those to come out because like I said I typically have to go that day before the store even opens because they sell out really quickly so thank you so much for watching this you guys be sure to leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite items are to pick up at Aldi or another store during this time of year especially if it's a seasonal item that we can only get this time of year and I will be sure to check in with another video very soon bye